I always find a weak spot. Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we could be taking a closer look at Zaya and one of the builds that we saw in the Horizon Cup over the last few days. Now, with Zaya, with this build, we are focusing more on the attack damage side of things with the crit more so than the attack speed side of things is what i focused on before with going static shiv with the third item but with this build we've got bloodthirster as the third item now with Zaya, we saw her a little bit in the horizon cup mainly with rakan down in the bot lane i feel like she was kind of underused compared to other ad carries but in the finals we saw champions like senna down in the bot lane we even saw brand down in the bot lane as well because we saw a lot of AD mids that were popping up. So we didn't really get to see a lot of more traditional, I would say, AD carries down in the bot lane. Which is a bit unfortunate to be fair. But more so or less, we still did see Zaya in the Horizon Cup. But like I said, this is kind of the build that we saw. It's a bit different to what I built before with Zaya. So, as always with most champions at the moment, you still go for the BF Sword as your first item into Solari Charge Blade. Solari Charge Blade is still by far one of the strongest items at the moment for AD carries. This combination with the Infinity Edge as well just gives you a lot of critical strike chance, a lot of attack damage. And yeah, just allows you to do a lot of bonus damage as well. So, with the two items, you get 50% crit. And if you use an ability with Solari Charge Blade... That critical strike chance goes up to 75% crit. And then if you do get a crit with the Radiant Stacks, you get that bonus magic damage as well, which is going to be very, very helpful. For boots, you can go for Gluttonous Grease, but you can also go for other boots as well. Because we do have some lifesteal now in this build with the Bloodthirster as the third item. You do get the attack damage, the crit, the physical vamp that I said as well. And the good thing about the Bloodthirster as well is actually the Blood Sworn passive. Which physical vamp over heals you generating a shield that absorbs 40 to 320 damage depending on level this shield does decay over time as well out of combat so you need to make sure you keep auto attacking minions or monsters to be able to make sure that this shield is up uh, as much as possible but this gives you just a little bit of hp basically so if you're against any assassins like maybe zeds or who else can i think of rengar karzix anyone like that you have that little bit of a shield and you have that little bit of a leeway so you might not get one shot by the assassins, but you might get two shot instead because assassins at the moment are just extremely broken with all the items. But Blood Thirst are still a great item. And with a, with this combination, you know you have the Infinity Edge, the Blood Thirster, and the Slurry Charge Blade. When you do use an ability, you do get that 100% crit. So you're going to make sure that you're going to be using your abilities as much as possible. Getting out as many feathers as possible, which is what you want to do with Zaya anyway. And use them feathers to root and obviously deal a lot of damage to the enemy champions. Um, and yeah, with that, obviously your boots you can change. You can go for plate steel caps instead. You can go for mercury treads if you are against a lot of... Uh, crowd control plate steel caps obviously helps you against a lot of ad damage so they them two are really really good options as well in terms of boost upgrades in terms of the horizon cut specifically we saw a lot of stasis being used um which is obviously probably the best enchant at the moment in the current meta because stasis if you can time it correctly you can stall so much damage you can actually bait out a lot of damage as well from the enemy champion so it's actually really really good protobelt i don't feel like is that bad either you still got protobelt which is quite good and you have quicksilver as well if you're against a lot a lot of crowd control quicksilver can help a lot against all of that especially champions like tf that can just you know auto attack you with the gold card and just stun you really really easily for a long duration then after this bit uh, after this you've got the mortal reminder as your next item this is your armor penetration item you get a lot of attack damage again you get the armor penetration and you just do a lot of damage and honestly with this build once you get all these four items you get to a point of a game where you will do a lot of damage with zaya when you auto attack you're going to be dealing crit damage you're going to be doing a lot of attack damage and yeah it, it's quite disgusting to be fair and obviously, when you finish all of these items, you've got one more item left to build. Most of the time, you want to go for the Guardian Angel as your defensive item. You can go for other items instead if you really, really want to. You can maybe go for items like um, Death Stance is not too bad, as it helps you against all the Assassins as well. You can go for other items as well, maybe Blade of the Rune King as well. I don't feel like you need Blade of the Rune King, but you can go for the Blade of the Rune King if you want to. But I feel like, as your last item, Guardian Angel will be your best bet. For runes, 
Conqueror, still the best rune. Nothing really to explain here. It still does a lot of damage with all the stacks. Hunter Vampirism. Uh, you have Bone Plating as well. Bone Plating got used a lot in the Horizon Cup. Uh, I've been using it myself as well. And it does just help you against that. You know, the combo damage, as it says there. The combo damage can be very, very, uh, can be very, very strong at times. So to kind of negate some of that damage is really, really important. But it is on quite a long cooldown. So you need to just be careful of that. And then you have Sweet Tooth as your last one as well with Flash and Barrier. We did see a lot of heal coming through from the Horizon Cup. So you can go for heal if you want to as well. And then your support can go like Ignite or Exhaust if you're against some Assassins. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of the rundown of the build of the Horizon Cup. As always, I've got gameplay to show off to you all. Hopefully you will enjoy it. As always, take care and I'll see you all very soon. Peace. board.